Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on and put your hands together one more time for our very own Elder Lewis Carter. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we leave this place, this is our bishop's 37th pastoral anniversary. Come on. Stand up, everybody. Stand up. Stand up. Hallelujah. 37 years. Woo. That's longer than some people have been alive. Amen. 37 years. Hallelujah. And we are grateful that she's our bishop. Amen. Said I keep my mother's calendar and it's people all over the world. Every day, contacting me. How can we get her here? How can we get her here? What do we need to do? What do we need to do? How can we get her to London? How can we get her to South Africa? How can we get her to Boston? How can we get her to Penn? Just every day, say I get a call, a text, or an email. Amen. But we have been blessed. That she's here with us. She's on the prayer line with us. She's on the Bible study line with us. Hallelujah. She comes in this place. It doesn't matter. She just came in from out of town on yesterday. She's in this place this morning. Hallelujah. She didn't need to take a day off. Amen. So we have to up our gratefulness, our appreciation, our thankfulness. We can no longer take it for granted that this phenomenal woman of God has been given to us. We can call her on the phone. We can stop by her house. We can drop off some beans and cornbread. Amen? We can call her and, and sit at her table, have her cook for us. Come on, y'all. So in our 50th year and her 37th year, we're going to up our game. Amen. We're going to be more grateful. We're going to be more thankful. Amen. We're not going to take it for granted. Amen. That God has placed this gift in this house, in our midst. And we have access. We have access. Hallelujah. So we're not going to take it for granted. Amen. So this is her 37th pastoral anniversary. Wherever you fall in there, you should give God a praise. Amen. Because one thing she is dedicated to is preaching the word of God. Don't matter how I try to stop her when she's sick or she got a cold, if she just, you know, let me call them and cancel. Let me call them and change the date. Let me, no, 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 no. I got to get this Holy Ghost to him. Even if she's sick in her body, she got to get that Holy Ghost to him. Even if she not 100%, she got to get that Holy Ghost to him. So she takes it very serious. So we want to honor her. Amen. We have some presentations. And for those of you who took the time to join us this morning, you can, can come around and start to come around. We have a bucket. If you have a love offering, if you have a card, if you have something some diamond earrings, a million dollars, or whatever it is that you want to drop in the bucket. Amen. You can do that now. But from the Holy Ghost Cathedral, because you are busy, 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 we felt like you needed some time just with you to unplug. So we are sending you on a spa trip. <laughs> Hallelujah. Where you can unplug your phone, direct all your calls to me. Amen. We're sending you on a spa trip. Amen. You can plan it around your schedule. But I'm going to make sure that you take that trip. Amen. We're going to make sure. So right now, we're going to turn it over to our wonderful chairperson, missionary Tracy Robinson. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> What did I just hear? Oh. Um, so, Bishop, we love you so much. 
We thank you for all your chest ties and everything that you do for us, and we want you to know that we hear you. I hear you. And from the 50th Jubilee Committee, we want you to rest. So we're going to sing you two days to the Motor City Casino, two days away. As April said, no phone calls. They'll go right to you, to her, and you'll have, you're receiving a spa day also with that two-day stay. And it's not just from the, you know, from the committee, but it's from the cathedral. The whole church, our church. Yeah, oh yeah. April is going to see that you're going to take it. But for those that would, out of your kind heart, our, our bishop does a lot for us. She's always praying for us. She's always just doing everything. I call her my everything bishop. And we're going to add, oh, and we're going to, we, somebody said we're going to add two days. We're going to add two days. But for those that you all, we're ask, I'm asking, and I know Chief ain't going to like this, but I'm asking um, for you all, this is our pastor, this is our bishop, I'm asking for $37. That's only a dollar a year. She's worth more than a dollar in a year. But I'm asking you all to give her $37. For though, I'm not going to ask you for something that you don't have. Because God is going to, he, he doesn't ask for what you don't have. But what he will ask for is what you're going to use for something else. So I'm asking you all. And I'm going to give $37. I'll start it off with my $37. But he's going to ask for what you have for something else. Not for what you don't have. So I want to hear all that. Listen. I don't want to hear what you ain't got. If it's for a bill, I understand it's for a bill, but what you, like, you know, you know, we like to get our nails done, get our weave done, get our feet done. I'm asking for that money. So, um, to get, again, Bishop, we love you, and we just want to tell you we love you, and we thank you for all that you do 365 days a year. Thank you. The cash app is Corletavon, dollar sign. Corletta Vaughn is on the board, but we want this to go to her, not to the church. You two online, dollar sign, Corletta Vaughn. If you have Zelle, her email is Vaughn at gmail.com. All right? If you have cash or you have a check, you can come on around and drop it in the bucket that's up here by the bishop. Amen? Dollar sign, Corletta Vaughn. So $38. Amen? Amen. We're going to turn it over to Sister St. Clara. I'm going to ask my son to just bring me um, that little package behind um, my chair. And the, the Lord um, had me to get you a little gift, and it's not that you need anything, but he had me, and it's another purple bag too, baby. But he had me to um, get this bag for you, and not that you need another bag, but he says that I want you to order your sister a bag because she's always moving and going somewhere, and you guys are rolling with her. So, <laughs> uh, so, uh, so it's a little bag. This is my sister. She is, uh, I, I've had three pastors in my life, um, and she's been my pastor for 37 years. <laughs> but she's really been my pastor for 62 years. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I want to read this. And to our pastor, in infinite wisdom, the Lord surely knew that we need you.
pastor as faithful as you, a love of God's word and a heart for the flock. You give yourself and you give and are on the rock. I can't just read the, uh, we appreciate you. Oh, yeah, you can just sit on your desk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a <laughs> This is your check for your trip, for your relaxation, and your I'm on, my way. on your way. Be oh, on your way, and I need. Amen. There you go, AKA. Amen. Come on, y'all, stand up and. Give her a standing ovation. Yes. We love you, Bishop. We just want to take a little time and let you know how much we love you. We do have a reception out in the foyer, so please, everybody stay for the reception, okay? Everybody stay, have some cake, have some punch, greet the Bishop on her special day. Amen. Deacon Russ? He don't have nothing to say. He said he don't want to. Come on, Pastor Val. Receive our assistant pastor. Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. God is good, and we are so excited. Amen. Look at all these. You know, she loves that. <laughs> Praise God. Thank God for our bishop, for our apostle uh, to the world, but uh, to the pastor of this house. Amen. And so we praise God for all that he is doing. Thank God for her life. Here's a little token. Here's a little token for you. Praise God. We thank God for all that he is doing. And we know that uh, it's Jubilee. And it's Jubilee for the bishop. Amen. And I was thinking about it today, bishop, and the Holy Spirit said to tell you, glean. That in this season for you, the king is in the field. And while the king is in the field, everything that you need from places far and near, the king has come to the field for you to glean in this season of jubilee. And so we thank the Lord that even now I see the angels gathering. And they don't have just little baskets, they got big ones. In fact, they, they, they're so big, I, I wish I could describe it, but it's, all, it's like a tornado. It's tornadoes. And the Holy Spirit is pouring gold. I see gold, I see silver, sapphire, turquoise, gifts far beyond what any of us in our own means could do. God says, I'm in the field, and I'm in the field for the bishop. Praise God. Amen. She, she's soaking that in. <laughs> I love you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Money is always good. Yeah. <laughs> I have known this woman of God 
30 plus years. And when I came here, just giving birth to the twins, and when you said, and when it came out generations and generations, that's exactly what God is doing. When he begins to birth a thing, he don't just birth it for us. He does it for time and time to come. So, Mother, when you birth some things in me, prayer warrior, spiritual warfare, and guiding me to be the woman of God who I am today, that birthing led on from seed to seed, and my grandchildren are here. And I'm honored that this place exists when I'm not here. I'm not here physically, but by the presence of God being here, and I'm saying this out to media too, there is a place where the true spirit of God rests. His spirit rests in this place. And I saw him as I began to come in today, and he said, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it afresh of the signs and the miracles and the wonders so when Elder got up and preached today, I said, Lord, that's confirmation. I didn't know what all was going on today. He didn't reveal everything to me today. But the Holy Spirit showed me that. So it's beginning again and afresh and anew, Shannon. It's more than what you did. It's getting even greater. Even greater, the outpouring of the Spirit. In revival, time is now. Your sons and daughters, myself, your sons and daughters will begin to prophesy you don't have to go in the field and work anymore. We're here. We're standing in the gap. We're here to work in that field. So, woman of God, I thank you. I bless your life. I can't even imagine all the things that you've done. The little bit I think I've done through, my God. But I thank you and I bless you. Oh my God, this one, this one right here, this is the lady, this is the lady, folks, y'all don't know, y'all don't know, y'all don't know, just clap your hands for this lady. Bishop, I thought I came for one thing, but when this elder spoke, when I came in the door, it was a confirmation. Last year, September 2022, I cut off everyone. I said, God, I want to hear from you, myself, not through anyone else, but I want to hear from you as to what? I need to do the prayer that I prayed. God, give me peace through the process. I don't know what the process is going to be, but I believe you're going to give me peace in the process. I mean, you all don't know what I have gone through. Four people in my family in the month of December passed away. A brother-in-law, my first husband, my cousin, and my mother-in-law. But I say, God, give me peace in the process. And that is what he has done. And I'm still going through a process right now, dealing with the estate of my first husband. Because fam family members would come in and try to take from you. 
which my daughters are the heirs of their father. Now, how can family members come and do that? And I said, God, give me peace in the process. He have given me steps. He said, get up. Make a binder of everything of this man that you know of. The marriage license, the obituary, the divorce papers, everything. And I say, God, I'm going to do it. Because you said do it. Because I can hear him clearly. I can hear him clearly. I would have a girlfriend. I would tell her different things. All I'm hearing is her voice. Not, not God's voice. And I say, God, now I have boldness. People trying to figure out, what is wrong with Deacon Lorraine? Where is she going? What is she doing? But I'm speaking things in people's lives. This young lady today, we had a big feast. And I said, I took cake to the church. She came by me, had two pieces of cake. I said, why do you have two pieces of cake? Well, I'm taking one home to my friend. I said, do your friend come to the church? And he, she said, no, but he eats from the table of the church, right? I said, yes. I said, have you ever invited him to the church? She said, no, but he's eating everything from the church. And I said, well, does he go to church? She said, he goes to Kemplock's church. I said, but he's eating from the table of this church. So he needs to come to this church where he's being fed. I mean physically, that he can feed, be fed spiritually. And I said, do you cook? She said, yes, but you're taking food to your friend. And I said, how old is this guy? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> And she said, he's 50 years old. And I said, all you got to do is on Saturday night, don't wait till Sunday morning, and say, would you go with me to church? Prepare him the night before that he would go to the church. And I don't know where all this boldness is coming from. I'm looking at myself. But I'm saying, God, give me peace in the process because it's God's will. And that's my will. God bless you, You don't want to miss the 50th Jubilee celebration of Holy Ghost Cathedral, a gala affair, to be held March 31st, 2023 at the beautiful Fellowship Chapel, 7707 West Sider Drive at 8 o'clock p.m. Ticket prices are as follows. VIP tickets are $250. General ticket sales are $150. You may purchase your tickets today after the services or online at Eventbrite or go to www.gotelling.org and click on the gala banner. For further information, call 313-434-6609. See you at the gala.